over the central plains here and that's what's causing all of that rain in such a short amount of time. So it looks like that stationary front will remain over the central plains ext extending into Kentucky and Tennessee at least through Friday into early Saturday and because of that setup more rain is on the way for those areas at least for the next three days or so. But as we take a look at our area here things remaining pretty unsettled and that's actually pretty normal for this time of the season where we get those scattered downpours and we could easily pick up two to three inches in a few areas. But the thing is, is that they're more isolated and some areas could potentially pick up between a half of an inch to an inch as we head through the weekend, which is pretty standard. So far for the month of July, we're actually below average. We're about an inch below average. And this is how much rainfall we've picked up so far for the month of July at the Kenner Airport. Now taking a look at the live radar here, scanning the skies. Pretty busy. I am tracking a few scattered showers, a few downpours indicated by the reds and oranges here north of Covington. And the thing about these thunderstorms or these showers, they don't really move. They kind of just stay in an area and they have to rain themselves out. That's what causes the minor flooding in our area. So I've been tracking this particular thunderstorm for about 20 minutes or so. It hasn't done much. It's just continuing to pour out in that area and also over the metro area is tracking some heavy rains at the moment and then out in Terrebonne Parish and Lafouche tracking some scattered showers and that will continue through most of the day so just make sure you have that rain gear nearby just in case it is fairly warm but with the lower temperatures you can tell where the rain is falling we're in the lower 80s in New Orleans pretty hot and humid out in Bell Chase in the lower 90s as well as Buris and we're in the upper 80s in Slidell Covington and lower 90s out in Raceland so here's your local extra forecast for today many of us climbing into the lower 90s and upper 80s through the afternoon hours. So here's the setup as we go through the rest of the work week heading into the weekend. We'll have an onshore flow, meaning our winds will be out of the south, and that's going to continue to increase the moisture content over the area. So a few of those thunderstorms will continue to tap into that tropical moisture. That's why sometimes the rain gets so heavy in a few areas. As we head into your Sunday and Monday, we'll have a little disturbance that's going to roll through the area, and that is definitely going to pump up the Gulf moisture over our area. Area. You could see indicated by the reds and oranges just really showing where that available moisture will be located. So as that weak disturbance continues to push in that moisture here, heavy rains will be possible as we head into the first half of our work week. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. So today I am looking for a 60% coverage for showers and storms. It'll get heavy in a few spots. Same deal as we head into tomorrow and the rain coverage much lower Saturday and Sunday. But notice our temperatures will be 92 on both of those days.